Hello and welcome to BusyWeb's weekly Busy Webinar. Today we'll be t talking about color branding for the web. My name is Andy Witelski and I'll be your presenter today. I am the lead graphic designer and developer with BusyWeb and I've been with BusyWeb for a little over three years now, but I've been working on the web since 1994. So I've seen all kinds of changes in the web over the, over the years. As we get started, we'll go through the agenda a little bit, just so everybody's aware of what we're going to be doing today. We're first going to go through a little bit about BusyWeb, who we are, what we do, and how we can help you. Then we'll get right into color and branding for the web. First, we'll discuss what is color, why is, and then we'll look at why is it important, who is using which colors, what companies are using colors for their branding on their sites and also in their logos. And finally, how to find color palettes that fit what you need for your branding. After that, we'll have an open question and answer session, and then uh, we'll go live with this on the web. So let's get started. What do we do? BusyWeb is a web design and social media company that also specializes in search engine optimization, content marketing, pay-per-click ads, and hosting. We also do social media setups and carry your branding of your sites, not only through the social media, but also through every different aspect of your online marketing. So whether that's online advertising, whether that's um, your Facebook page, whether that's your website, we carry that branding through all of those for you. So color and branding for the web. First of all, what is color? Color is the result of how your eye interprets reflected or emitted light. Reflected light is light that is reflected off from another source from a different light source. For example, the sun gives off light and that light is then reflected off the green grass or the deck behind your house and then you see the colors that come off that reflection. An emitted light is a light that shines out and gives off its own color. An example of that would be your television or your monitor that you're looking at right now. Um, it's, it's important to note that all light starts as a white light as all colors blended together and then breaks off depending on how it's reflected or what it's emitted through. As well, color changes depending upon depending upon how it's used. It doesn't really change. It's, it's mixed differently. So, for example, something that's printed out on a piece of paper might come out printed using the color scheme of CMYK or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Whereas light or colors on your screen come out as RGB or red, green, and blue light. So different, different ways of getting the same colors out are used depending on the media in which it's, um, in which it's exposed. Why does color matter? Why should you care about colors? Um, 60 to 80% of all people make their buying decisions based upon color. So basically 50% of all consumers are looking at color to make buying decisions. The first thing people see is the color of your website or the color of your brand online. Before they even see what your product is, before they even see the font that you're using, they see the color and there's an emotional stirring within that color. There was a study done recently that says that most people look at color and react more powerfully to color than to fonts or to layout on websites. So who is using different colors? These are just a spectrum of brands that are out there um, and the different colors of their logos. As you can see, the blues and the reds are probably the most powerful colors being used out there. But there are some greens and yellows and then also some neutral colors in the grays like the Apple and the Times. On the web, a lot of colors that are used 
are the blues. Blues are a comfort color. They're colors that people feel feel good about or just enjoy um, stability with. Some of the different colors and what you know, some of the emotions that have been studied over years have been like the oranges are of optimism and warmth and friendliness. Um, reds are excitement or bold, moving forward, strong colors. Your purples are more creative, imaginative, and wise. Your blues are calming trustworthy, dependable and strong. Your greens are outdoors, peaceful, healthy, growing. And then your neutral colors give a sense of balance, of calm, of meditation. So as you can see that and look through this logo sheet a little bit more, you can kind of see how that could be used with the different logos that are out there. For example, WebMD, you would want a more calming and trustworthy um, source when you're looking at information related to healthcare, for example. Whereas ESPN, for example, strong and excited, bold and moving forward. Color palettes can vary depending on what you want to do with them and the emotion you are trying to portray. As you can see, I've shown two different color palettes here. One is more of what's called a monochromatic or analogous color palette. In other words, they're all shades, for the most part, of blue. They're all very similar in their shade and color, um, but they portray and reinforce that color of blue throughout. Then you've got another color palette that's much brighter, much more energetic using the what's called a triad with the red, green, blue spectrum thrown in there. And a triad basically if you take the color wheel and divide it into thirds you will see you'll get a triad of colors. Um, a couple other types of color schemes are complementary. If you see in the first website design that we've got there in the bottom, the zero gravity with the person jumping, we've got we've got a complementary. And that means basically if you pick a color on one side of the color wheel, you pick the color on the exact opposite side. So for example, blue and orange are exact opposites on the color wheel. And thus they complement each other. They offset each other and they they cause a contrast strong contrast between one another. A lot of people ask questions about where can I find color palettes? Where can I discover colors? Well, it's pretty easy to go outside and look around and look at branding and packaging and discovering colors. But when you're online, where can you discover maybe new or interesting colors, color palettes that you haven't seen before? Um, three of my favorite sites are Color Lovers, Cooler, which is an Adobe product, and then Colorzilla. Color Lovers is a really nice site. Not only does it have color palettes, but it also has individual colors and then patterns that you might be interested in using or maybe textures that might be interesting and new to use in your branding. Uh, the, the depth is not as deep as some of the others, but I like the fact that you can go in quickly, easily, and just kind of look through and browse without being too overwhelmed and the color palettes are separated nicely for you. Cooler is by far my favorite color palette tool and place to go to look for color palettes. Um, you can use, you can browse color palettes as you can see in the image in the bottom or you can go in and modify and create your own color palettes um, based on the different types of palettes. So an analogous or monochrome palette, a um, complementary palette, a triad, or just create your own 
out of a different image. You can actually upload images to Cooler and then pick different colors within that image that you might like to use for selecting your color palette. It's, it's a great tool. As well, Adobe, if you sign up for the free Adobe account, you also get to save your palettes and share your palettes with the rest of the community which is kind of nice because there's times I'll find something on the cooler site and then I'll be able to come back to it and review exactly what it was that I wanted um, and then use those color schemes maybe in a different way or just slide them around. Maybe I like the, the general look of the hue or the brightness of the colors but I want a different color scheme and that allows me to do that within, uh, within cooler. The third that I really enjoy using is Colorzilla. Colorzilla is a, a great set of tools, really. They're both, they're both browser-based tools. One is the eyedropper, which is simply just a little browser extension. You add it to your browser, whether you're using Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer. And then if you're on a website, you just click, and you can sample that color and get an idea of what color they're using on any particular place within the website. Um, it's really nice if you're trying to find out what red, say, CNN is using, or maybe what blue WordPress uses. You can go in and just quickly and easily tap that eyedropper, get a sample of it, and then maybe create a palette off of it from there. The other tool that Colorzilla has, and this is a fully online, just web-based tool, is the gradient generator. This allows you to create CSS-based gradients, in other words, cascading style gradients that you can use in your websites or your online marketing materials. Um, it's a real nice tool to go in, and if you wanted a gradient, gradient button, for example, or if you wanted to um, figure out some colors that might work together, this tool works really, really well for that. And as short as this may seem, um, that's kind of what we've got for colors today. We can dig in a little bit more, and I'd love to get more in-depth in the future on some of the different color palettes and what you can do with them. But color is a wide and ranging application that can be used in many different things, and it's very important. As we uh, said in the beginning, 60 to 80% of all buyers on the web will make their decision based off from color. So remember that as you're going out looking at colors, developing color schemes and palettes and implementing them in your site that people make their buying decisions and whether or not they want to do business with you based upon the color that you are using on your, on your marketing. How BusyWeb can help you going forward. If you or anyone in your company or organization is looking for an optimized social websites with social integration, we're here to help you. We can help with social media setups so that that branding continues through all social media. Content creation and monitoring. If you're busy running your site or your business and don't have time to write your site or write content for your site, we're here to help you develop that content and help you to get it out there so the world knows about you. Search engine optimization and search engine marketing. We're here to help and make sure that your content is relevant for what people are searching for your company for on the web, as well as helping you create advertising campaigns that fit what you need and target the audience you want to target. One of our biggest and probably most understated is web hosting. For WordPress sites, we are a premier web host that can not only monitor and maintain the servers, but we can also monitor and maintain your site for you. We'll do all the major upgrades to your site. We'll do all the major, um, all the major improvements. And because we are a WordPress company, we can help troubleshoot anything that you might come across with your hosting. Speaking and consulting on strategy, we are more than happy to come into your business, your organization, or 
just come in and do a quick meeting with you on strategy for your business, online strategy, as well as just marketing strategy in general. And as of yet, we don't have any questions. So I am going to stop the broadcast. And we'll go to any offline questions and answers that we might have.